Today I'll be demonstrating how to replace the bearings in an RML wind monitor. This sensor has two sets of bearings, one for speed and one for direction. This presentation will focus only on the wind speed bearings. The manufacturer recommends that these bearings be replaced every 24 months to keep the sensor within its specification. To replace the bearings is really quite simple. Grab the nut at the end and turn that off. Then pull the propeller off and set that aside. Next, grab the nose cone with your hand and turn off counterclockwise. Set the housing down. Every wind monitor comes with a spacer and an Allen key in a little packet. Using the Allen key, back off the set screw that's by the magnet. Pull the magnet off. Now you can remove the propeller shaft. Remove the dust shield. Using the propeller shaft, remove both bearings. At this time, what I like to do is to take some Kim wipes and maybe some alcohol and clean off any dust or grime that may be on the nose cone. To put the new bearings in, we just reverse the process. Simply take the bearings and push them back into place. Reinstall the dust cap and push the shaft through. Put the magnet on with the shoulder towards the nose cone. This is where we need the small side of the spacer. Put this between the magnet and the nose cone. Tighten the set screw finger tight, trying not to cross thread or to strip the set screw. Remove the spacer. There should be a little bit of play in the shaft. Next, just take the nose cone and put that back, thread that back onto the body of the sensor. Again, hand tighten only. To put the propeller on, there actually is a front and a back of the propeller. The back has a male key and the, the nose cone has the female key waves. Push that on and match the keys up. Then take the propeller nut. Again, finger tight only will suffice. And that is all that is required to replace the wind speed bearings of an RML wind monitor.